I have decided to do a video about my jaw surgery that I had about two and a half years ago, almost three years ago now, just because if there are other people who are having jaw surgery um, for the same or similar reasons that I had it, um, maybe it would be nice for them to be able to find a video about what the process was like. Um, maybe it will make it easier for them. Um, I had the jaw surgery because um, my bite looked like this. So I couldn't bite through anything with my front teeth because my top and bottom teeth um, sat right on top of each other and I couldn't chew easily with my back teeth because hardly any of them touched because my, f my front teeth touched so it made my back teeth not be able to touch as well. Um, I think when my dentist referred me to an orthodontist he said only four of my teeth actually touched when I bit down. So those four teeth were getting a lot of unnecessary pressure put on them. It was wearing them down a lot faster. It was putting bad pressure on my jaw joints. Um, and then I, he also pointed out the fact that um, me not being able to bite through lettuce and tomato on hamburger or the skin of an apple slice or a whole list of things I should be able to bite through and I thought that everyone had problems with that. Growing up, I thought everyone had trouble biting through lots of things, but I apparently was the only one <laughs> who couldn't do it. Um, before going with braces and jaw surgery, I tried out um, going to see a chiropractor to see if that did anything and actually made it worse. It hurt so much that I would rather be hungry than use my face muscles and joints to chew food. Uh, so I became deathly skinny for about half a year before I decided to go with the braces and the surgery. Um, <clears throat> so I had braces for one year. Moved my teeth all around. And um, after I had braces for a year, I went in for the surgery. So <clears throat> I went into the surgery. It was about three hours. So they moved my bottom jaw back. And then, to try and keep my profile looking the same as possible, they cut my chin off and moved it forward. Um, I was in the ICU for just overnight. Um, the surgery was over at like 4 in the afternoon or something like that, and I left the next morning. Um, I had a nice ice pack over my face and giant oxygen mask over the ice pack over my face. Nothing two specials, pretty okay. Um, the good thing about that was I hardly felt any pain. It was a little achy, but I really thought it was going to be a lot more painful than it was. And apparently one of the reasons why it usually doesn't hurt that badly is because you get a lot of nerve damage from jaw surgeries. And it usually, uh, they usually do come back, but for the healing time of the surgery you don't have much feeling in those nerves so you can't really feel the extent of the surgery which is really good I mean it doesn't happen to everyone but most people it does so that's that's cool um, for quite a while I had no sensation in this part of my face um, like it didn't feel like anything when I touched it and it was really really weird and just, uh, Putting clothes on and washing my face was like the worst thing ever because it just felt too weird. Slowly I got the sensation back in my cheeks and my jaw and I still don't have full sensation in my chin. Um, it's, al it's almost completely there, it's just tingly and kind of weird. Like when I touch here, I feel it right here. Um, and a lot of the time, ooh, <laughs> it still gives me the heebie jeebies sometimes. Um, Sometimes my chin gets itchy, which I don't understand how I can feel it itching because when I try to scratch it, I can't feel anything except, like, yeah, pretty much nothing. Um, so, yeah, they, they tell you that, that you have the possibility of not getting sensation back in your face, which I honestly didn't think would actually happen when I, when they told me. It's just like, oh, it's one of those small chances that can happen, but... Yeah, I still can't feel my chin completely, but it's pretty much just this half of my chin now that I can't feel. And you honest, I honestly am like used to it. It hardly even feels weird to me now. It only really feels weird when someone else is touching it. 
<laughs> um, but I would definitely say that it's... It, I would rather have almost no feeling in half my chin than not be able to eat things, so... <laughs> yeah, too, and like two weeks after my surgery when I still couldn't feel anything, I honestly, like, I couldn't feel anything in this part of my lips, like, at all. And I was like, I should go get my lip pierced, because I wouldn't be able to feel it at all, but... <laughs> I didn't really want my lip pierced. <laughs> um, my face was giant. I was all like sewn up on the inside of my mouth, which was kind of gross. And I did not get my jaw wired shut. They just screwed my jaw back together, so I was allowed to eat. I just wasn't allowed to chew, which is good. Um, I didn't have to eat liquid stuff, but I did have to have mushy stuff. So I ate a lot of mashed potatoes and little pastas that I could just swallow and V8 and Jello and yogurt and pudding. I had a lot of the same stuff for like, I think it was eight weeks that I wasn't allowed to chew, which I'm going to say right now that was the hardest part of the entire surgery was not being able to chew for eight weeks, especially because I basically had the ability to, like I could have if I wanted to, but then my jaw wouldn't have healed properly. So that was difficult. With It's like it's just telling someone you're not allowed to move your fingers, but you don't have them in a brace or anything. Just don't move them. Don't do it. <laughs> that was hard. Um, so I did get painkillers that I did take, um, but I really didn't need them. I probably would have been fine with extra strength Advil. Would have done it. <laughs> um, I had ice on my face for a couple of days, and then we moved to heating packs. It was also just really weird having everything in my mouth in a different spot. Like, my bottom teeth were back more, and so it felt like I had no room for my tongue. And it was really weird. It felt like my tongue was just going to hang out of my mouth. Um, when I did start eating again, I didn't understand how to do it because everything was in a different position. And I was chewing really weirdly. I kept biting my tongue and my lip for a long time. It took a lot of getting used to. Um... The swelling did take a long time to go down. I looked like Quagmire for probably a week and a half. And then I just looked really fat <laughs> for probably another week. And then uh, my chin just looked bigger. And my lips were a little swollen, but not... it. They were swollen enough for me to not be able to show my teeth very much when I smiled. It was kind of weird. Um, and it was swollen to the point where my face felt a little tight. Um, and I bruised on my neck. But that's about it. Um, I think two or three weeks after my surgery. Two weeks after my... Two and a half weeks after my surgery, I got my stitches taken out. Um, and now I can bite through things. I can bite through lettuce and tomato on hamburger. I can bite through the peel on apple slices and the stringy things in celery slices. And I can pretty much get all the meat off of chicken wings now, and what else can I bite through? Deep fried pickles? I can bite through a lot of stuff these days, and uh, I'll tell you it was really worth it. Also, I don't have any jaw pain. I don't have any clicking in my jaw. I can open my mouth really wide, <laughs> and I couldn't for the longest time. Um, so yeah, that's all. Um, I just had my braces on for another six months after my surgery. Um, I think if my teeth were actually really were actually crooked before my surgery, I probably would have had them on longer, but I had pretty straight teeth before the surgery. They just had to kind of get them in place to where my jaw was going to be positioned when the surgery came. So I only had braces on for a year and a half.